Hello and welcome to tonight's show. That's just my baby mama. That's just my baby mama. Oh, that's just my baby mama with all that goddamn drama. <laughs> yeah. Baby mama drama. Something that 95% of the men of today and of yesterday are going through on a daily basis. You're not getting along, you're fighting, you're arguing, you're going at each other's throats every chance you get, putting each other down every chance you get, talking crazy to each other every chance you get, spilling out negativity against each other every chance you get, toxic, 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 every single day is toxic. But you know me, the B to the A to the N to the E, A okay all day the easy way if y'all really don't know me i'll tell you how to deal with this situation with that baby mama drama how to alleviate and eliminate that shit so let's get into this topic about baby mama drama on the shit show Music licensing reimagined. What's up, everybody? This is your host with the most, Bane Allen. And today, I'm going to be talking about baby mama drama. How to prevent it and how to deal with it off the top. All right. So it could be a lot of different scenarios in this situation. Okay. Now. You in a relationship, you and your baby mama break up for whatever reason, whether you was cheating or she was cheating or y'all just couldn't get along, y'all decide to break up. But you may have one, maybe two, maybe even three kids by each other. You know what I'm saying? So now she's mad. Now she's angry. Now she's bitter. Now she is upset. And she wants revenge. She wants to hurt you. She wants you to feel her pain. She wants you to feel exactly how she feels inside. She's not going to tell you how she feels inside, but you can see it in her actions. Of how she is very, very distraught. How she is very perturbed. How she is very, very so sick of you. She hates you. She can't stand you. She wish she never had a baby by you. So what do you do? What do you do? I'm going to tell you what you need to do. You need to let her do all that childish bullshit she doing and raise your kids. That's all you need to do. Now, if she want to be talking crazy and telling you you can't see your kids, that's her problem. I'm going to tell you like this. Don't go to them court systems. Don't fuck with them white people in them court systems. They're going to be on her side, regardless of the fact. Your thing to do as a man is to do what you have to do 
to raise your kids. Because she's only going to be mad to a certain extent. But all in all, in reality, she can't stop you from being a father. See, the problem with a lot of you men is when she's upset, you guys keep putting fuel in the fire. You can't keep putting fuel in the fire because the fire ain't going to never go out. The hatred between you and her ain't going to never go out because you pouring gasoline into the fire. Pissing her off. Pissing her off, pissing her off, pissing her off, making her mad to where she do get mad to where she just say, you know what? Fuck him. I'm taking his ass to court for child support and I want full custody of the kids. Then what you going to do? Then you're going to be mad. Then you're going to be upset. Then you're going to be tripping. Oh, fuck her. She ain't shit. Oh, that bitch did me wrong. She put a nigga on child support. You know what I'm saying? All because she was mad. Because I was doing this or I was doing that. No. You was putting fuel in the fire. When women are mad, look, let them be mad. When they want to talk shit, man, just let them talk shit. Get away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been through situations like that too. You know what I'm saying? So I can tell you what's going on and how to deal with these situations. And it ain't always got to be, all right, I know how to keep her quiet. I'm just going to give her some dick. Nah, you got to stop doing that because when you keep doing stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You sending mixed signals and emotions. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand this. No matter what you go through at the end of the day, this woman was pregnant for nine months. She had your child, your seed that you implanted in her to incubate for nine months. So in reality, nine times out of 10, there is still going to be some love there. There's still going to be some attraction there. Now, if you know for a fact that you are not going to be with this woman and you know that you are not going to get back with this woman, stop fucking with her emotions. Let that woman live her life. You live your life. Quit fucking y'all baby mamas that's what gets y'all in trouble all the time knowing that you already moved on knowing that you already got another female but you still go back and fuck your baby mama you can't do that that's gonna add more fuel to the fire so then when she feeling some type of way and she want to come or she want you to come kick it with her Oh, you can't do that. And then you explain to her, oh, you out with your girl, or you out doing this or doing that. Boom. You done ignited the switch. You done ignited the fire. Here she go. She on one. Tripping, 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 tripping. So, like I stated earlier, when she's going through these emotional irrational a radical mindsets just do what you have to do as a father for your kids okay if she like i said if she won't let you see the kids go buy them the shit that you normally would buy them go buy them clothes go buy them shoes go buy them toys or give her money for food to put in the house for the kids Or you go to the grocery store and buy some food for the kids. As long as you doing what you have to do as a father, she can't say nothing. She can't say nothing. She can say, oh, we and him, we ain't never got along. But he did take care of his kids. You, as a man, you have to be the one to be the better man. You have to be the one to alleviate the stress. 
and the pain that she's going through because a lot of the times a lot of the times as men it's our fault it's our fault okay we do a lot of stupid shit we go out here we get these girls pregnant we have kids by these women and knowing that we still got dog in us and we still going out here fucking other different women knocking other women down at an all-time high until we get caught and then the relationship is all fucked up and she's hurt you know what i'm saying you can't you can't heal that embarrassment that she's going through you can't heal that embarrassment that 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 humiliation that she's going through so in order to alleviate that you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta let that shit go you know what i'm saying now if you stand with her nine times out of ten yeah she's gonna kick your ass out the house so instead of getting mad tearing up her shit doing this childish shit trying to put your hands on her and tripping and all that stuff because you fucked up nah man how a real g do it a g say you know what yeah you're right i fucked up my bad i fucked up a good thing my fault all right i'ma leave i'ma hit you in a day or two and you know what i'm saying let me know what the kids need and i'ma slide that so just because me and you having a difference don't mean the kids need to have a difference see because you handle a situation that way for the simple fact that when you arguing and fighting and y'all cussing and there's physical abuse involved you have to understand that your kids are watching this shit your kids are observing everything and they soaking everything in because if you are a dominant man and you are a verbally abusive and physical man your kids is going to grow to hate you they are going to grow to hate you because you got to understand the mother is the nurturer and the lover of both parents you know what i'm saying the kids 99 percent of the time are going to gravitate towards the mother because she is the weaker sex and when they see their mama crying and boo-hoo-hooing and bleeding from the mouth and a black eye and in pain and they know that they can't do nothing to you because you're their big bad angry stupid ass father they gonna gravitate towards their mother and they gonna end up hating you so if you know you fucked up in the relationship be the better man and get your ass out of her house and do that shit with dignity you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta cause no scene you ain't you ain't gotta do nothing crazy you know now if she's living with you <laughs> i don't know that might be a, a totally whole different story on how you want to handle the situation you know do you want to kick her out the house with your kids you know that's a slippery slope right there of how to handle that situation if she's staying with you what do you do you know what do you do because i mean most of the times anyway she's going to leave anyway and then she's going to stay with a relative or she's going to go stay back with her mama for a few days or something like that because she's always going to have somewhere to go that's just a given but if she does decide to leave your house let her leave in peace don't be tripping with her because you fucked up 
Or even if she fucked up. And the relationship is done. For whoever was at fault. Just let her leave, dog. Remember. The number one thing to alleviate the problems with your baby mama. Is to just let her go. And you be a father to your children. See, because a lot of men where I see so many men that have screwed up in the past is when they break up with their baby mama, they get bitter with the baby mama and they punish the kids. They don't want to see the kids. They don't want to be in the kids lives. They don't want to be involved with the kids. They don't want to come take the kids nowhere. They don't want to play with the kids. They don't want to talk to the kids, be bothered with the kids. They don't want to do none of that because they mad at the baby mama. Chalk that shit up. Put your feelings to the side. You are a man. You made the child. Deal with it. You have to deal with it. There's no other way around it. You know? You, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't throw your kids away. And you can't throw your kids by the wayside. Just because you and the mother of your children are not getting along, dude. It just don't work like that. At some point in time, you're going to have to man up. Or face the consequences and be defeated all around. Because, like I, uh, like I stated before. The system is not on your side. The system is on her side. So if you doing all these bad, wrong things to her. And she goes gets her big brother, which is the white boy in the court office with the gaffle and all that other shit. They gonna come after you. And she got your social security number. She got your date of birth. And you signed the birth certificate on top of that. As the father. So all those three things right there are stacked against you off the top. Because you signed that contract. You signed that contract or that birth certificate. Which makes you reliable and liable for that child. Until that child turns 18 years old. When that child is old enough to go out and get a job for themselves. And pay Uncle Sam for themselves. But if you're going through all this drama and all this unnecessary nonsense with your baby mama and she decides to take you to court and then they just going to start taking your money. They just going to start going by the guidelines and garnishing your check because they're going to say, oh, well, you know, she spends 99% of the time with the kids and they'll give you that one percent but that one percent ain't gonna help you in court you know what i'm saying once once they once they once they calculate how much money you make at your job and how much time you spend with the child oh they 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 taking you bro they finna hit you hard and especially when she ain't giving up no visitation rights or especially when she ain't giving you no joint custody or nothing because you didn't play your cards right and just being a instead of just being a father and trying to be tough and trying to show out in front of the homies and disrespecting her and talking crazy and all that stuff you still gotta understand no matter at the end of the day That's the mother of your children or that's the mother of your child. You know what I'm saying? I can argue with one of my baby mamas and we can go at it big time. But one thing I don't ever do is call her a bitch. I don't ever call her out her name. We have disagreements about how we raise our child but we can always sit down and talk to each other like human beings and we cool like that 
You know what I'm saying? Because what men need to understand is words hurt. Those words that you say to these women, they hurt. They might not admit it hurts, but it hurts. You can't be in a relationship with a woman and tell her how much you love her and how much she means to you and all the nice things that you said to her to get to her to turn around and say, bitch, I hate you. Bitch, I hope you die. Bitch, fuck you. You ugly ass bitch. I ain't never liked your ugly ass anyway, bitch. I don't know why I had a motherfucking kid by your funky ass anyway, you dirty, nasty ass, funky ass bitch. Excuse my language, but that's how certain dudes talk to their baby mamas, okay? How you expect her to accept that? How do you expect her to accept that verbal abuse from you? You know what I'm saying? How, the, how does that make her feel? And, and, and on top of that, you're saying it in front of the kids. And the kids are soaking all of this in. Like, damn, this is how daddy really feels about mommy? Why is daddy talking to mommy like this? That's our mama. She don't deserve to be talked to like this from our daddy. I hate daddy, me too. I don't like daddy. You want to go to your daddy's house? Nah, we don't want to go to daddy's house. We don't like daddy. Daddy mean. You see what I'm saying with this, fellas? You can alleviate the problem if you just be the bigger person. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure your baby mama knows you. I'm sure she knows how to get up under your skin, but I'm telling you, brother, or any brother that's listening to me right now, you better grow some thick skin, and you better grow it right now, and be the better person, and deal with the situation head on, whether you're right, or whether you're wrong. You still got to be a father to your kids and you still got to do what you got to do as a father to your kids. Don't try to be no simp. Be like, I ain't putting no money in that bitch hands. Fuck that bitch. Nah. If she got them kids, go put some money in her hand and go on about your business. And, and, And like I said, let things die down. Let shit cool off. And go be a part of your kids lives go see your kids or go pick your kids up she'll let you because nine times out of ten when you let the shit die down she's gonna need a break she gonna she gonna be happy to get a break give her a break take the kids off her hands sometimes you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta like each other or nothing like that the relationship is already over she probably already moved on. You already probably moved on. And, and, and one more thing before I go. When she get with somebody else, that's her business. That's her life. Don't be sitting up there talking about, oh, I don't want no other nigga around my kids or I'm going to beat your ass, bitch. And da, 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 da. No, no, no. You cannot do that. If you are involved with another woman, she has every right in the world to get involved with another man. Now, if she trusts this man enough to be around her kids and it's her house and it's the roof that she's providing for her and her children, you have no say so. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you can't go over there starting shit with the new boyfriend and conflict and arguing and screaming and yelling and getting all emotional and radical and gangster and tough and you over there with the burner tripping putting your freedom in jeopardy ready to go to jail because she's messing with another dude it ain't because the dude is around your kids you mad because she finally 
met somebody else that's making her happy then she's fucking somebody else and you mad about that now that you see that the shoe is on the other foot and then you realize you're not so happy with the woman that you with now because you see that your baby mama is happy the way you used to make her happy and she's with somebody else now that's making her happy so you're jealous and you want to trip and you want to act stupid and you want to act gangster and you want to act a fool and you want to embarrass yourself and get yourself put in handcuffs <laughs> because you brought all this shit on yourself you can't do that man if she with somebody else and she in a relationship with somebody else same way she let you be happy you need to let her be happy and go on about your business only thing you need to worry about is the k the i the d the s them kids that's all you need to worry about because whoever she's with or whoever she's fucking that shit's irrelevant now it, it's none of your business it don't even apply to you no more you know what i'm saying you lost that stature you lost your stripes with that you know what i'm saying and you ain't getting that back you know and, and even if you and even if you can't get her back with that good baby daddy dick why waste her time knowing that you really don't want to be with her but you just want to prove a point that you can still fuck her why she with another dude that ain't right homie let her go you know what i'm saying because a lot of men do shit like that i've done shit like that where we get selfish and we do childish shit like that that's childish and it shouldn't be done if we moving on let her move on it's just that simple it ain't nothing hard about it it's nothing more or less there's nothing hard about doing that you know just trying to just trying to just trying to alleviate the conflict between you and your baby mama that is the goal that is the key that is the progress that needs to be made so everybody lives happy and ever after by going on their own way and most of all even though that you're out of the house you know what i'm saying the best thing about it man is the kids the kids the kids are not mentally fucked up they're not mentally damaged in the head because you handled your situation like a man you handled your your situation like a real g is supposed to handle his business when he dealing with his children you know what i'm saying and, and, and that's how that's how you do it man the, the the key thing is it's not about you and her no more it's about the kids remember what i'm telling you dude it is very important because what you do in a negative light affects your children in a negative light and that can turn those kids into in certain ways in life as they grow up because they're going to carry that pain they're going to carry that burden of hatred towards you for the rest of their life or they're going to they're going to still speak to you they're going to give you that fake respect out of fear but in reality that love that you're seeking from them you're never going to get if you if you show that different mindset and that angry anger towards your baby mama all right so i hope you guys learned a lesson from this i hope you guys took some notes from this because we can be better men we can be better stronger masculine men in this world you know what i'm saying we don't have to get all emotional we don't all get, have to get all feminine and argue with our baby mamas. Let it go. Think I better let it go. 
Looks like another love TKO. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think I better let it go. Just let it go, fellas. Let it go, fellas. Because it looks like another love of TKO. Let it go, guys. Alright? You know what I'm saying? Much love and respect to your to the mother of your children, man. No matter how foul the situation is. No matter how foul the situation is, it can be foul on either side. Just 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 learn to be the better person, alright? This is your host with the most, Bane Allen, and I'm out. Peace.